Hey everybody, welcome back to A Dose of Fashion with me, Alicia D. Today is day 59 of 100 Dresses in 100 Days, but I'll be showing you dress 59 and 60 as the continuation of my week of whites continues. The dress that I've chosen to wear for you guys today is this formal dress, but before I stand up and show you all the beautiful details, I'm going to give you a little fashion tip for today. This is a tip that I have never tried but I've recently stumbled upon and I hope it works because it would have saved me a headache in the past. So it's how to unshrink something. Didn't know that that was a thing that you could do. Apparently it is, and I'm gonna tell you what or how to do it. One, you use lukewarm water and you put a cap full of baby shampoo or baby soap into a tub and you let it soak for 30 minutes. After that, you pull it out of the soak you gently stretch it back to its original size or original shape, and then you let it lay flat until it's dry. Apparently, this will unshrink something that you shrunk. I shrunk a beautiful Angora sweater dress, and I got it from Victoria's Secrets, the catalog, so obviously it cannot be replaced. I have yet to see another one like it. It was just this soft, plush, long sleeve, beautiful sweater dress that cinched in at the waist and just fit in all the right places. Well, somehow it got mixed in with my washing machine clothes and I shrunk it. It looked like it was something made for a toddler. Okay, that might be a little bit extreme, but definitely an eight or nine year old. So there was no getting this body back into that dress. But had I known this tip, I could have at least given it a shot and seen if I could have stretched it back out into its normal size which would have saved me some heartache because I loved that dress and I barely even got to wear it. I think I only wore it like two times. Not cool, not cool. So that being said, I'm gonna show you the dress I'm wearing now. Now I'm super happy in this dress because I'm a super girly girl. Little insight into my personality. I would wear a dress like this every single day if I didn't look like a complete moron walking around shopping in a dress like this because it just reflects my personality. I like to have fun, but I like to be feminine and flirty and of course, feel like a princess. My friends call me princess sometimes. It's princess's birthday. What are we gonna do with princess? Where do you wanna go to lunch, princess? I mean, it could be taken as an insult, but I know that it's all out of love. I am who I am. I don't try to be anybody else. Anywho, coming up close, it's got this beautiful corset top with this sequence print sprinkled through the vines. As you can see, it's got the binds stitched in with the beautiful whimsical flow swirls and the little accents of sequins. Now, the bottom is a full chiffon, floor length, poofs out at the bottom just a bit, dress. You know, I love chiffon. So light and flowy. And look at that, just the shimmer and the movement. I love this dress. I hope you do too. So this is dress number 59. I'm gonna pick up number 60 and show it to you. Now dress number 60 is a maxi dress, but it's much more casual. It's lace, it's a cream colored lace. I think it has a bohemian kind of vibe because it's just very simple, neutral color, very relaxed. Obviously spaghetti strap, drop V in the front and just straight across the back. It has adjustable straps, which is always nice when you're going with a top like this because you probably don't wanna wear a bra with it. I'm sure you could wear strapless if you wanted to, but the hiding it in the back might get a little tricky. Also, it's got padding built into it, so you don't really need one. It's made for you to just put it on and go. So if you're feeling like you need a little extra security, you can address the straps and voila. Now this one isn't a white white, it's more of a cream, a uh, acru, an uh, eggshell white, whatever you wanna call it. This is dress number 60. And if you wanna see what this dress looks like on, swing by my Instagram at aliciad3, Either later today or tomorrow, I should have the pictures uploaded for you to check out. I hope you like my dresses. Um, I'd like to tell you where I got this one from. Pretty sure it was Burlington, but it was way back before it was just Burlington and it was Burlington Coat Factory. So you wouldn't find the exact dress, but I'm sure that you could find something very similar if you just went and looked. And as for the one that I'm wearing now, you know, prom season, just go look. If you like it, buy it. It would be great for a formal occasion or if you were having a very small intimate wedding ceremony and you just wanted a pretty white dress with a little bit of oomph, this would work for that as well. You know, whatever suits your fancy. 
Anyways, thank you for joining me, Alicia D, for A Dose of Fashion, day 59 and 60 of 100 Dresses in 100 Days. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button. If you like it, like it. If you don't, that's cool too. We all have opinions and they are all valid. And sharing is caring. So share the fabulousness. Thank you.